Chocolate City in the Chamber, baby. That's how we do it. Hey guys, Lola here. So as you can see, I've artfully arranged my room so that there's a still life of fruit. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, one of my uh, flatmates uh, gifted me a fresh box of fruits. So I'm like, yeah. And the best bit is they are fruits that you have to peel to get into which is the only type of fruit that you should accept from anyone else. You're welcome. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I do eat fruit sometimes. Uh, the rest of the time, it's uh, rice and junk food. But I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. So I've come here au naturel with my eyebrows that have not been properly fixed and my beautiful face with sunscreen on it, my buddy with sunscreen on it because I've been on a run. Yeah, so I've done two workouts so far today. It's a Saturday. Uh, so it's a speedy workout, which is a three mile warm up and then the speedy section and then a two mile warm down or cool down. I don't know. And then, um, and I really enjoyed the speedy section. You know, you really just get it out of you. Um, and then you also, then I then did my strength workout with the uh, McCurdy trained, McCurdy lifts which are free workouts that you can access on the McCurdy Trained uh, YouTube channel. So go right ahead and do that. And in this week's workout, my coach, uh, Heather McCurdy, the wife of James McCurdy, is the one who's doing the moves and he's talking us through it. So it was like me fangirling about, oh my God, that's my coach. I'm that person. Um, and yeah, so I'm procrastinating really well, by the way, uh, doing my next two bits of exercise. So I think I'm leaving the yoga workout to much later in the evening, um, uh, before I eat my evening meal, which, um, and then I'm meant to be doing a stretching workout, which kind of is an intermediate level, like trying to get into splits training, which I may jump back down to the beginner level because it is kicking my butt. It's 25 minutes of hell. <laughs> okay, some of the uh, moves are easy, but then it quickly kicks it up a notch and it's like splits, left side, splits, right side. I'm like, if I could do the splits, I wouldn't need you. Anyway, rant over. But yeah, um, that's what I'm doing. It's one of those apps. Uh, and uh, my yoga, I do, I've been doing for about two years now. Two years last year two years April 2018 it's called down dog and I'm using the free app version and I have gone through the getting started beginner level one beginner level two and now I have stepped myself up to intermediate and again it kicks my ass in a few moves but I really love the new moves as well so I'm like nah I'm sticking with this I am going to be an intermediate yogi and then maybe I'll become a yoga instructor so, so yeah, that's what I've been doing myself. Let me know what you've been doing in terms of being creative or, or non-creative. Um, I feel that, it, let me just put it out there, I feel like creative is also lying on the couch in a really um, cool way. Um, so yeah, let me know what you've been doing. Um, I'm still wearing the spring twist hair um, and it's going strong. Basically, as you can see at the bottom, some of the twists are becoming more elongated and the whole look is actually more elongated than it was when I first did it. And that's mainly because I've done quite a few um, braided styles and ponytails. This is two ponytails, one up top and one at the bottom pulled together so it's fuller. And then uh, like four strands I usually leave out, but I basically just swooped in so I can home with it um, and sleep in it. But usually I will braid it up usually for fast braid Friday before my fast workout either on the Friday or on the Saturday and basically found that um, I couldn't sleep very easily in those big bunchy braids because it becomes quite thick and bunchy when you put it into a braid so I tend to take it down and it it's really good um, I love it for running in I've done the half bun um, style and people at work were like oh and I was like, maybe I should do this more. And I was like, nah, seems like too much work. Kidding, it's okay. So guys, um, yeah, let me know what you're up to. Um, to those who have had family members or themselves gone through COVID, uh, you have my compassion. I'm still working, uh, not in the front lines, but within the healthcare system. So I'm still seeing patients who could have COVID and don't know about it. So again, we're doing all our personal protective gear and trying to be as safe as possible. So on that note, please remain safe. Be good. Can I get a what now? Let me do my thing. Let me spit now.